Hey there, Mounties. This is Kate Lawson. I will be your sociology instructor this quarter. So welcome to my intro and criminology students. So happy to have you. Um, just a little bit about my background. Um, I currently reside in Washington State. I live in Renton, a town called Renton. We're about 13 miles south of uh, Seattle. I am also full-time tenured track or tenured faculty up here at Green at Green River College. So I have a full-time job as well, but I teach on the side for Mount Sac. So I'm really happy to still be serving this community as this is where I started with my sociology teaching career at Mount Sac. It was the very first school I taught at. So really, really happy to be here and serving you. Um, my background and emphasis is in crime and deviance. So for those of you taking the criminology class, you're going to get a lot of that. And it's really fun and exciting. The same with the intro um, course. Um, but instead of, you know, we're going to be serving quite a bit of different topics within the realm of sociology. But we will look at crime and deviance as well. But that is my background. Um, that's what my, um, uh, my research was in. I did my research on sexual assault in the prisons. So I got to interview um, folks who were released from prison and asked them about what happened to them. As you can see, this is kind of a, it's, you know, not everyone can do this type of job, but it was fascinating and interesting and really helped shape me um, in terms of my teaching and how I came to see uh, rehabilitation and things like that as well. And you'll learn more about that as you listen through the lectures. So this video is really just intended to give you a, a brief background of what to expect for the course, kind of heads up with certain things, um, but of course to welcome you. Um, so uh, a few things. So for one, um, you will, every student will be receiving an announcement every Monday morning with how to um, what you need to be doing, your responsibilities for that week. So expect every Monday, expect an email from me. Um, all of the information for the course is located in the syllabus. The syllabus is really the blueprint for the course. So you're going to get a lot more detail than what I'm even mentioning here in the video. But I will reference several things within the syllabus to kind of, you know, get you get a sense of what you're going to be doing. Um, the course will use Canvas. Most of you are pretty familiar with the Canvas learning system. Um, the way it's set up, it's set up using modules. So um, each week you will have a module to complete. Usually the modules will include a lecture, a, um, a quiz, and an assignment for you to complete. Um, you know, depending, um, you know, some weeks you will be working on a paper. So I'll have you do like three pages of a five page paper. There is quite a bit of writing in this course, but a lot of it is really set up where um, I feel like it's really manageable. Like, so you do have a couple of five page papers, but one week, two pages is due. I give you feedback and then you complete the rest of it. And so I've really tried to stagger it and structure it so that I can provide you feedback as you're working on all of this stuff as well. Um, but don't be afraid of the writing elements. Um, I promise by the end of the course, you are going to be a stronger writer and you're going to be knowing how to navigate through the social science research, which I'm really excited for you to learn about. Um, and so there's for you to kind of consider um, each module will have these particular things. There's no point in the course where you will need to be synchronous, meaning where we will meet online in person, in person virtually. Um, we will not be doing that. Everything is asynchronous. I will be offering office hours every week. Office hours, you'll get an email about them as well every single week. But they're really, really important because in an online class, students really need to have agency. They really need to reach out if they are having a hard time. Keep in mind, I totally understand that this is your first exposure maybe to sociology. And like these first couple weeks are always kind of a challenge for students because, you know, I'm asking you to do these assignments and you're like, I just opened the book four days ago. But keep in mind that the course is structured to be working, you know, on to be building upon itself. Um, but I know some of those first couple assignments might seem a little intimidating, but it's really on students to come to me and come and, and ask for help right? And so office hours are a great time for that. I'm just sitting here waiting for you to come. So please, please come and see me. Um, the other thing is come and say hi if you're interested in majoring sociology or you just want to talk sociology in general or transferring or any type of kind of college related um, topic. I'm more than happy to do that for you. Again, I'm just sitting here waiting for you. If for some reason the office hours don't work for you because of your work or family schedule or whatever, no problem. Just shoot me an email and we'll set up a time that does work for you. 
um, it's hard because every week, you know, everyone's got a different schedule, especially with the online thing. So if that time doesn't work for you, I'm more than more than happy to set up a time that works for you as well. Um, so again, go through the syllabus. It's going to be a really important kind of blueprint for the course. Um, office hours, just going back for a second, um, will be two hours a week, and I will send you an email about when they will be. Usually they are Thursdays from 10 to 12, but sometimes my schedule gets busy as well, and sometimes I need to move them around. But you'll always have two hours of office hours every week. Right. Within the syllabus, you'll find all of the information around how to format your papers. So make sure you read through all that, as well as kind of uh, my grading, like how I, how I grade um, and other, again, other really important information of the course. Um, all students are given a free pass. So the free pass allows you to turn in one assignment up to a week late. And so keep that in mind. After the late pass is used, there will be penalty for um, each additional assignment that is turned in late. Um, we also will be watching a handful of films in this class, so that's really, really fun. For the intro class, there is one film that you will be required to purchase. It's only, I think, $3.99 on Amazon, but just a heads up about that, I haven't been able to get the school to upload it for you. Um, and I am working on that. So hopefully I might have it done prior, um, but sometimes the stuff just takes so long. Um, so just keep that in mind. All of the other videos are uploaded for you. Um, your textbook information is in the syllabus as well. Um, you know, um, you'll also find a plagiarism um, statement at the end of the syllabus. That's all really important um, because I don't accept plagiarized papers and there is plagiarism detection software. So make sure that you are not plagiarizing, right? Um, one sentence or something here and there is not going to like be a big deal, but it's like the type of thing where, you know, papers are um, taken from online or submitted from another classmate or something like that. But hopefully that's not even an issue. So. Um, again, I just wanted to take this short time just to introduce myself. I will be having office hours this week, so please come and say hi. This is a great way for us to build some kind of rapport. You know, a lot of times students want letters of recommendation for when they travel. This is the type of dimension that we need in terms of our interaction. So I actually get a chance to know you and I can write you a really nice letter of recommendation. So with that, I will bid you adieu. I'm so excited for um, spending this time with you. Again, please reach out with any questions or concerns about the course. Um, I'm always here for you. Take care.